Hello and welcome to this episode of RPG Gamer Top 5s, and this time we're going to do the top 5 RPGs on the Sony PlayStation Portable. The PlayStation Portable, often referred to as the PSP, is a handheld game console developed and marketed by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was first released in Japan on December 12, 2004, in North America on March 24, 2005, and in the PAL regions on September 1, 2005, and is the first handheld installment in the PlayStation line of consoles. As a 7th generation console, the PSP primarily competed with the Nintendo DS. The PlayStation Portable uses the common bar form factor, with the front of the console being dominated by the system's 4.3 inch LCD screen, which is capable of 480 by 272 pixel display resolution with 24 bit color, outperforming the Nintendo DS. Also on the unit's front, four PlayStation face buttons, the directional pad, the analog nub, and several other buttons. The system also has two shoulder buttons, with the back of the PSP featuring a read-only Universal Media Disk UMD drive for access to movies and games. The PSP uses two 333 MHz R4K based CPUs as a main CPU and media engine, a GPU running at 166 MHz and includes 32 MB main RAM. The hardware was originally forced to run more slowly than it was capable of, with most games running at 222 MHz. However, with firmware update 3.5 on May 31st, 2007, Sony removed this limit and allowed new games to run at 333 MHz. The PSP was received positively by critics and sold over 80 million units during its 10-year lifespan. Several different models of the console were released before the PSP line was succeeded by the PlayStation Vita, which was released in Japan in 2011 and worldwide a year later. And with that, let's go on with the countdown. And at number 5, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep by Square Enix in 2010, with 417 votes. Birth by Sleep is an action role playing game with hack and slash elements that introduces a gameplay aspect to the series called the Command System. This system allows players to customize a command deck with techniques and abilities they can perform at will, called deck commands. Performing ordinary attacks and commands fills a gauge displayed above the command deck. When certain requirements are fulfilled and the gauge is full, the player's basic attack is changed to the Surge command, which racks up powerful combos depending on what command style is activated. Filling the gauge a second time replaces the Surge command with a more powerful Storm command. Unlike previous games in the series, the game does not utilize magic points for spells or magic casting. It instead uses a system known as Focus, which is displayed in an orange gauge on the interface. The player can use Focus to perform a technique called Shot Lock, with which the player enters a first-person mode, where they target enemies to cast homing spells that differ with each character and technique. Another aspect introduced in the game is the Dimension Link, which is measured in a blue gauge on the interface. It is used to draw power from certain companions who you meet during the game. And at number 4, Final Fantasy Tactics The War of the Lions by Square Enix in 2007, with 463 votes. Final Fantasy Tactics The War of the Lions is a turn-based tactical role-playing game set within the fictional world of Evelice. The game follows a war between the Kingdom of Evelice and its neighbour, Ordalia, told as a historical document relating the deeds of an extensive cast drawn from both sides of the conflict. While preserving the main narrative of Final Fantasy Tactics with updated localization, War of the Lions also features tie-in references to other games set within Evelice. The combat of War of the Lions can be compared with board games such as chess, with each piece corresponding to a party member in Ramza's current roster of fighters. Each fighter may move around the grid-like board in accordance with their move allotment, as well as attack enemy fighters or activate more complex abilities. The terrain of each map dictates the range and mobility of the warriors. Ramza's soldiers can each equip a job in the Final Fantasy tradition, from standard swordsmen and archers, to magic specialists, to even more exotic positions, like the dragoon and dancer. Fulfilling actions during a battle grants experience and job points to each character, the latter of which can be used to purchase new abilities. There are 22 jobs available in War of the Lions. Once a character has learned a skill from a job, they have permanent access to it, although only one primary set of skills is available at a time, and is job dependent. Many abilities, such as those related to movement or being struck by an enemy, can still be equipped if the character later changes jobs. The game also features permadeath, if a character is incapacitated from excessive damage and is not healed within several turns, they are permanently dead and cannot be used again in battle. 
Outside of battles, players can move around on an overworld map. This is not free movement like in the other Final Fantasy games. Instead, Ramza can only go from point to point on the map. Crossing a wilderness location may lead to a random battle. And in city and towns, the players can buy new equipment, recruit fresh soldiers, and send party members out on automated missions to earn cash and other rewards. Later in the game, the player can learn additional rewards by poaching creatures during battles. And at number 3, The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, Menihon Falcom in 2006, with 479 votes. In Trails in the Sky, the player controls a cast of characters, embarking on a number of quests to progress the story. There are two different types of maps when navigating the overworld of the game, field maps and town maps. In field maps, enemies roam around and a battle ensues if the player comes into contact with one. But in town maps, the player can visit various shops to purchase items, replenish health at an inn, and, for the major cities, take on and report quests to the local guild. In addition, the player can interact with numerous non-player characters in the game. A unique aspect in Trials of the Sky is that each NPC's dialogue changes as the game advances, allowing the player to follow along side stories that accompany the NPCs throughout the game. Combat in Trails in the Sky takes place on a grid and is turn-based. The character's turn order is determined by a tracker called the AT bar. During the character's turn, the player can move or make an attack. In addition to the normal attack, each character also has three other methods available for action. Arts, Crafts and S-Crafts. And at number 2, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII by Square Enix in 2007 with 742 votes. Crisis Core is an action role-playing game in which the player controls Zack Fair. The player moves Zack through and between open areas, allowing him to talk with non-player characters, interact with the environment and engage monsters in battle. At save points, the player may opt to take one of the available side missions, and if so, Zack is moved to a special area to complete the mission, which usually involves defeating one or more monsters. If the mission is successfully completed, the player is rewarded with beneficial items, and often new missions become available. Whether the player is successful in the side mission or not, upon completion, Zack is returned to the save point in the main game. Crisis Core uses a real-time combat system in which the player can move Zack around, initiate attacks, special abilities and spells, use items, and dodge or block attacks. Zack's abilities in battles are set by what materia he currently has equipped. Up to six materia can be equipped at any one time which can impart special attacks, magic spells, or passive bonuses such as health increases, or the ability to display the statistics of the current foe in combat. Materia are gained throughout the game through exploration, as rewards from side missions, as spoils of battle, or from shops. Materia can be fused together to make more powerful versions with improved bonuses. For example, fusing an attack materia with an elemental magic materia can create a new attack skill materia that inflicts elemental magic damage in addition to physical damage. Special items collected in the game can also be used in materia fusion to further increase the materia's power. And at number 1, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3 by Atlas in 2006 with 1084 votes. Persona 3 combines elements of traditional role-playing games and simulation games. The game follows the protagonist character, balancing their daily life of going to school and building relationships with other people, with fighting evil beings known as Shadows during the mysterious Dark Hour. Each day is divided up between various time zones, the most common of which are after-school daytime and evening. With the exception of scripted elements, such as plot progression or special events, the player is free to choose how each day is spent with most activities causing time to pass on. The types of activities and characters that can be interacted with vary depending on the day of the week and time of day. Additionally, some activities are limited by the protagonist's three attributes, academics, charm and courage, which can be built by performing various activities or making certain correct choices. During the evening, players can choose to visit Tartarus, the game's main dungeon, where they can build their party's experience and gain new items. On the day of the full moon, players will participate in a boss battle in order to progress the story. The main element of the game are the Personas, various creatures and monsters which are associated with the major arcana of the Tarot. Each Persona has its own set of strengths and weaknesses, and possess various abilities, ranging from offensive and support abilities to passive abilities that support the character. Whereas each of the game's main characters has their own Persona, some of which change form as the story progresses. The protagonist is capable of wielding multiple Personas, 
which can be switched between during battles. New personas can be created by visiting the Velvet Room and fusing together multiple personas, passing along certain moves from the personas used. Personas that a player can create are limited by the current level of the protagonist. Personas can also be obtained from Shuffle Time following battles, and previously obtained personas can be summoned from the Persona Compendium for a fee. The Velvet Room additionally allows players to take on quests, such as retrieving certain items, in order to obtain a reward. And that's it for this list of the top 5 RPGs on the Sony PlayStation Portable. So what did you think? Did you have a PSP? Because it's another system I missed out on, so didn't get a chance to try out any of these games. So please, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, by getting in touch through email or the website. Anyway, as always, many thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing, but most of all, you look after yourselves. And we'll catch you later. Bye.